Whoa. Let's talk about Valencia Home Theater seating. Just as a warning up front, I'm using this handheld mic for this review because A, I'm going to be moving around more than a usual review where I just talk at the camera, and B, I want my mouth to be real close to the mic since I'm going to do my best Bob Ross impersonation. Because folks, this seat is a work of art. When it comes to luxury home theater seating, of course I'd seen the name Valencia before from other YouTubers. Envious much? Of course. So needless to say, I was ecstatic when they reached out to me about reviewing an Oslo chair, which, by the way, is part of their premiere series of chairs. Just a single seat to be the centerpiece of this little testing theater of mine. Like all Valencia seating, the Oslo was made from premium Italian top grain leather, which the Oslo having Napa 11,000 leather specifically, with eye-catching diamond quilt stitching. I don't know what Napa 11,000 leather means exactly, but having sat in it over the past couple of weeks, I'm guessing it means really high quality. We have double foam ergonomic cushions that are firm right out of the box, yet still cushy. But I've read from other reviewers that there is a break-in period where that initial firmness does relax over time and get real cozy, like your favorite leather shoes you got all those years ago. And just look at the staggering amount of configurations you can choose from when ordering Valencia seating. Single, row of two, row of three, row of four, row of five, love seat, set of three, set of four, curved row of two, curved row of three, curved row of four, curved row of five, curved love seat center, love seat right, love seat left, double love seat, and love seat center. Whew. I don't think it's a happy accident that they've given you so many options, since no theater space is the same. Be sure to check out the description below for a link to see for yourself. Starting from the bottom, we have some ambient base lighting so you don't lose your weight, even in the dark. Moving up to the control panel here, we have a convenient USB charger if you need to charge your phone, including both USB-C and USB-A. But use it only as your last resort, because just like an actual cinema, if I catch the glow of your phone out of the corner of my eye during a movie, I'll confiscate it, take it outside, smash it with a hammer, and burn it right before your very own eyes. Moving along, this here is the recliner button, which causes the seat to lean back much further than I initially anticipated. But because of how the seat is engineered, it's specifically designed to be close to a wall, if necessary. It can still fully recline with only a distance of 13 centimeters from a back wall, or 5.1 inches for my friends in the United States. Everyone's lower back curvature is different, so this button here will expand or contract your lumbar support pad for superior comfort. This button here will adjust the headrest. Now obviously this adjustment is to work in tandem with the reclining feature. If you're sitting straight up, you obviously won't want your head forward like this. But once fully reclined, you also don't want to stare at the ceiling or crane your neck forward just to see the screen. So adjusting the headrest while reclined helps get yourself in the right position that is just right for your needs. I'm going to skip this one for now and you'll see why in a minute. But this button labeled H means home. No matter what position the chair is in at any given time, just hold down the home button to bring it back to its default upright position. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now back to this button that looks like a capital I. This is the program button, which records your ideal seating position. After you've tested out various motorized functions and you found your Goldilocks seating position for movie watching, hold down this button for one second. You will then hear a beep, which locks it into its memory. When you decide to come back and the chair is in its default upright position, simply press the I button and it will return to your ideal happy place. Isn't that something? Towards the end of each armrest are nice cup holders, illuminated with LED lights. And speaking of LED lights, you can choose from a wide variety of colors. I chose this blue because it is very close to the aesthetic of my channel. But if you quickly press the H button, you can cycle through the different colors to choose from. Purple even lighter blue, flashing RGB if you really want to annoy some people while watching a movie, red, green, royal blue, light green, and back to Elon Osborne blue. Or with a quick double press, 
you can just turn it off altogether. Isn't that nice? These holes here are for certain accessories that you can choose to get if you so desire. In fact, this tray table comes free with any purchase of a Valencia Luxury Home Theater seat. Perfect for resting my laptop on in case I need to answer some comments while I'm reviewing a product. But that's just because this doubles as my theater and office. It came with this piece of metal here, which I then screw into this hole. And it also came with this wrench to tighten it just a bit more. There we go. And now, ta-da, there we have it, tray table. But let's get something straight. If you think you need to use a laptop in my theater with that gigantic glowing distraction of a screen, I'm gonna take it, drive to the nearest hotel, check in, bribe the maintenance person to have roof access, and toss off your dirty laptop, watching it shatter into a million pieces while live streaming the whole thing on Instagram. Where were we? Ah yes. These hidden compartments are perfect for the millions of remotes I know you have. In my theater alone, I have a remote for the TV, IOTA AVX17 preamp, LG UBK90 4K Blu-ray player, and Apple TV 4K. But these hidden compartments are deep. So you would need at least, I don't know, 20 or 30 remotes to fill up this entire space. But if you have 20 or more remotes in just one of these, I think it's high time you take a step back and make some changes in your life. After having sat in this seat for a couple weeks now, I can honestly say that it seems like my little testing theater is officially a theater. I had a couch in here previously, but now it's literally like I've created a legitimate theater space without having to go to my local theater. My couch was great, it served its purpose, but now it's like I've reached the big leagues. I do plan on getting a couple more so that my family and I can enjoy the occasional movie together instead of just me. Sure, I can put in some comfy chairs for the time being, but to be able to have the whole family experience such luxury would be like finding that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. Because in the end, we all want to experience entertainment together, don't we? Being the social creatures we are. Although one critique I do have about the Oslo in particular is that it might be a tad too short for me being six foot two. At least that's what I thought initially, but when I thought to myself, well, since I'm mainly using this space as a means of testing out various theater equipment, I kind of like having my head above the headrest even when sitting upright. That way I can hear the surround backs just fine. If the headrest were above my head, it would essentially block out any direct sounds from the surround backs, or I would need to reposition them in a way where sound from the tweeters could still directly hit my ears from behind. So there are workarounds. But other than that, if you want to take your movie night to the next level, I would highly recommend Valencia Home Theater Seating. The Oslo is just one of many different models to choose from. And don't think you need a dedicated theater space to get some for yourself. These could easily become the centerpiece of any living room as well, with all the different styles and colors to choose from. As always, please be kind to each other out there. The world would be a better place if we all treated each other that way, don't you think? Go to your happy place in a Valencia home theater seat while experiencing your favorite show or movie. And of course, my friends, always be listening.